you know, shall we talk about the Fast Nationals? I don't know if we've ever talked about Fast Nationals on this program in particular. It's, um, it's a topic I, I've steadfastly tried to avoid. But we, <laughs> we should cover it because it's a recurring that's story it, and decimal uh, numbers. We're, we're also going to get into decimal placement. As it well. has reached a critical mass. This has been going on since since the debut of Rampage, really. Um, Fast Nationals. I want to try to explain this in a concise way as possible so it would be di digestible here. Um, Fast Nationals are kind of like the fast affiliates that we get for broadcast programs, including SmackDown, except for fast nationals. In the case of a cable program like collision or rampage, you have to specially order you, you, if you're a Nielsen customer, which TV networks are Nielsen customers, WWE is a Nielsen customer. AEW to my knowledge is not a Nielsen customer, but they get their data from WBD. You have to specially order a cable fast national you have to spend thousands of dollars per episode before that data will even be compiled and, and delivered to you if some this should, other this should be an incentive on your patreon okay once you reach a certain level you'll subscribe to nielsen fast nationals <laughs> that that has been considered <laughs> <laughs> um yeah but anyway uh as i said folks it's a small lane but it's an yeah. important lane <laughs> right so you have to spend thousands of dollars per episode, not just like for a year, per episode, for every every episode that you want data for. So if somebody's spending, uh, if, if somebody's getting fast nationals for these AEW shows every week, they're spending thousands of dollars every week. Okay. And it, it, it can only be, so who has access to this data is a very small group of people who are willing to spend thousands of dollars per episode to get that data. So who so use your imagination to think about who that might be. Could be WBD. Um, I've asked people in AEW, you know, are you getting the fast national data? They're not. So maybe WBD is getting it, but they're not sharing it with AEW at least a lot of the time. Um, so that, that, that leaves some other possible interested parties who might be interested in, in this data. So anyway, um, they, they get reported now and then um, they often don't get reported when the week to week comparisons are not are, are favorable. They only seem to come out when the week to week comparisons are unfavorable for AEW. Uh, we had uh, this this week, it was uh, Bleacher Reports' Eric Beeston who was uh, reporting the Fast Nationals for both Rampage and Collision. They were down. Uh, he reported that the most memorably, what's uh, getting some controversy here is that most memorably, the 18 to 34 rating is 0.0. .0. Of course, that's rounding only to one decimal place instead of two decimal places, which is how we usually report things like P1849 ratings. Um, I, I, I talked to Eric uh, earlier today and I think he was misled about what, what was happening here from whomever he got this data from. And, uh, I'm, I'm sure that he meant no, no, no ill will. He wasn't trying to paint, uh, AEW in a negative light here. Um, but you know, this is a, a recurring occurrence where we're getting the fast national data out there. Um, and it's, it's not being presented in a fair way and it's, I think part of what's happening is, you know, you've got two days until the final ratings do come out. The fast nationals are almost always lower than what the final ratings are. So it's a couple of days to let go by to get a negative narrative out there. If someone for some reason wanted a negative narrative out there about AEW ratings um, so that it, it allows that to happen. And it's, it's being uh, communicated in misleading ways to here appear apparently such as 0, 0.0 rating which if you round to one decimal place um is is true is this, it it was a 0. Well, 0.05 if you average the quarter hours it's a 0. 0.044 something so okay. it's as as I, I was discussing this with bix yesterday if you um I think this is an entry and this particular data point is an entryway into a philosophy of math course as far as how should this really be rounded uh, excel rounded it to 0.04 um in, in any case you know there it there were it was not the case that there were no 18 to 34 year olds watching uh, rampage or collision um but but this information was not being disseminated with a faithfulness to excel or to necessarily the most accurate ways of, w of which way it was disseminated from the beginning point i think is a fair assumption to make um i think i think it was communicated in a way to try to paint aw's ratings in a, in a, in a negative light um yeah which they always this, this that's how they're always couched virtually always 
Yeah, and I and I think it's it's worth noting that like last week we were doing this show on Wednesday. It was July the third, the night before the the Fourth of July holiday, and I think both of us were expecting dynamite to probably be impacted from that. And the fact was, like, not a, a, an enormous gain, but I thought their number last week doing a point two three um, was right. way above what I had expected. They were coming off that terrible number the week before, and doing that on the eve of the holiday. Um, I thought that was a very good number for Dynamite. Collision was, it was it was a bad number. I'm not painting this as a, as a great number. Uh, we know why it was down, but it was, I think that there is a, it gets very easy and Brandon can, you know, is, is very good at deciphering this of how numbers can be painted to tell very different stories and you have to be presenting them in, in a fair, balanced way and in, in good faith too, because you can see how games are played with numbers. And sometimes you have people that are still learning like a lot of this kind of um, understanding of th these numbers. And Brandon is a really great resource for people to go to, to fully understand this. And I'll, I'll, I'll say here, if there's anybody in wrestling media listening, what I told Eric earlier today is I'm glad to explain. And, I, and I've done this for other people in, in, in the last couple of years where Fast Nationals have come out and people have come to me to say, what, what's going on here for, to have me to have me help them understand this, this information? I'm glad to do that. More than happy to do that. Um, it's strange that I've never gotten these numbers uh, fed to me for whatever reason. I have not. You have not. Um, yeah. But they do. They do make their way out there. 